Good morning, everybody. I'm sitting in my car, so this is a car bite sized video, a car thought. Um, I've been thinking a lot about the word identity has been cropping up so much um, in messages I've been preparing. I'm, uh, I think a lot of you know I'm working on my next book, Living Your Prophetic Life. A lot of how we live our lives depends on our revelation of the identity we have in Christ. And it's Women's Month, so there's a lot of talk about what is a woman, you know, even in the world. Of course, Women's Month is not a kingdom thing. It's, um, it's the world who decided that, but God loves his woman. I found that out. <laughs> I'm so glad to be a woman in the kingdom. But it all, a lot of what we believe, how we act, how we pray, everything we do, how we treat people, how we treat ourselves, um, hinges around our identity in Christ. And there's so many people who struggle with understanding that in Christ we have a brand new, powerful identity. That we are no longer the mistakes of our past, um, the rejection, the disappointment, all of those things that, that came into and upon the lives of people once we come into the kingdom we are introduced to ourselves as new creations in Christ redeemed restored washed by the blood grace mercy the compassion of God all of those things belong to us in the kingdom if you do not understand that you are forgiven um, that there's grace on your life that you don't have to perform to to receive anything from God it's all by faith and it's all because of the price that Jesus paid every single thing that we have is because of the price that Jesus paid so this is just my very quick thought to you that get hold of scriptures that speak about who God says you are right from the Old Testament God I know God is speaking a lot to Israel his people but if we can meditate on those things and how he saw and how he dealt with Israel, even when they turned their back on him, he graciously wooed them back, graciously um, showed his mercy and his compassion for his people. And so how much more today in Christ that you have a seat in the heavenly places, you have a place, a position, in the hearts of the Father, his name is, your name, is inscribed on the palm of his hand. And so all the promises in him are yes and amen. So maybe this month you're tired of all the women's things and all the offers of 20% off beauty products. I'm getting all these offers this month. Beauty products and all kinds of things, you know, your, your beauty is within. <laughs> The goodness of God is what makes you attractive to people out there. It's the favor of God, the goodness of God, the grace of God on your life that people look at you and they say, what is it about this person? It doesn't mean that your life is perfect. You might still be um, having a wrestle or struggling with forgiveness or, or um, that God has forgiven you, I mean. Um, you might still be in a battle and you... you trying to maintain your your peace and your joy but we have all the scriptures and all the promises that God has given us and so those things in our lives enable us empower us to choose joy because we know what God says I've been speaking about Philippians 4 for a long time I was praying this morning about a particular situation that's on my heart and God reminded me Philippians 4 it's not a polite suggestion where it says be anxious for nothing it's an instruction because God knows that when we choose his way instead of being anxious he's going to guide us and lead us and give us the peace that we so long for as women I'm speaking to women men too of course um, and so be encouraged today that you have a fresh start in Christ. Take hold of the promises of God. Apply them to your life. When he instructs you to do something, do it. When he says forgive, when he says release, then do all of those things. And let God move on your behalf and let him speak to you. He wants to speak to you to show you how important you are to him today. So let him do that and have a fantastic day in Christ. 
walk in favor, walk in the blessing. The blessing of God over your life is powerful. So walk in that. Close the doors to all the negativity and the things you hear and the things you see that pull you down. The opinions of other people. It's the opinion of God about who He says you are is what will ground you, empower you, inspire you and awaken everything in your life that needs to be awakened to the possibilities that God has for you. So dream big today. Have a fantastic day today. I love you all and I'll see you soon again.